About court time. Bring in the prisoner. You're looking at one, Sheriff Henry, who's not afraid to bring Billy the Kid into court and put him away for keeps. I suppose it doesn't matter. I have nothing to do with that express company holdup. No, that's for the court to decide. Uh-huh. His letter came for you. Dear Billy, Slade brothers are here in sundown. They've done right well for themselves since they framed that holdup on you over in Texas. I don't know what to do about it. They're too tough for me to handle. Fuzzy. Sheriff, I'm afraid you're going to have to postpone your trial. Postpone the trial? Why? To give me a chance to bring the men to you that are guilty of the holdup. <laughs> Did you think that letter would fool me? <laughs> any more trouble, Vic. There's no sense in getting a town all stirred up over unnecessary killing. All right, Mort. I just like to keep in practice, that's all. Well, practice on jackrabbits for a while. They forgot to give me an invite to their law and order powwow. Well, I think I'll drop in anyhow. I'll go with you. No, you stay with Vic. Your tongue and brain ever have got acquainted with each other. That brother of yours seems to think you talk too much. Steam engine. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, Miss Joan, I want you to meet my friend, William Barney. How do you do? I'm very happy. William Barney? Are you Billy the Kid? Yes, ma'am, that's what they call me. Then you'd better travel on. You're not welcome in sundown. Oh, shush, you've got no right to feel that way about him. The reputation of Billy the Kid is very well known. I'll be forced to change my opinion of you if that's the kind of friends you have. There are too many of your kind here already. The decent people of this town have decided to clean up all of you gunslinging desperados. It's a good idea, ma'am. I hope to be of some help along that line. We'll get along very well without any help from you. You're sure unpopular with her. <laughs> I think I'll live through it. Come on, Fuzz, let's circulate. See how things stack up. Let's have no doubt about the fact that we mean business and we'll see that the law is respected. Right, Your Honor? Thank you. Thank you. Did you want to see me about something? Yeah. I've got some spare cash I'd like to invest. I thought I'd buy the mortgage the bank holds on the corner outfit. It's not for sale. Why not? The outfit's nearly broke. I bet he don't even keep up the interest. The rustlers have hit Jim Carter pretty bad, but he'll get on his feet in time. What's that to you? Are you in business for your health? Not at all, but that doesn't keep me from helping a friend. I want that mortgage. I'll pay you a good profit on the deal. It's not for sale. Well, my money's good and I've got plenty of it. I don't need it. Uh, you may think different someday. How does it happen you're so well off when everyone else is being rustled poor? Well, I owe my success to thrift and industry. And knowing when to grab a good opportunity. Hey, I'm not in the habit of begging anyone to do me a favor. You'll learn that it pays to be agreeable, Ainsley. Well, come on in, suckers, and get your feet wet. Well, I'll bite once. All right. I thought they had you on ice over in Texas. Since when did you learn how to think? Meaning what? Framing your hold up on me didn't show good sense. That's a lie. Stranger, or get out of town. He asked for it. I'd like to be obliging. Oh, break his neck. Take it easy, Tom. You don't seem to realize that you're talking to Billy the Kid. Huh? Billy the Kid? Hey, you're wanted by the law. Not in this state, Sheriff. So take it easy. Yeah, you better watch your step. I'll grab you the first false move you make. It's 
It's okay with me, provided you treat everybody the same. Anybody say that I don't? I've heard rumors. I'll see you later. Come on, Quincy, let's get out of here. <laughs> you started them hornets buzzing. I want to smoke them out in the open. You can't get at them through the law. I'll plot them into making a false move. Why did he come here? Do you suppose he's... Never mind supposing anything. He made the biggest mistake of his life. No more killing, Mort. I'm up for re-election pretty soon. Don't worry about election. I'll take care of that. He's he's acting stubborn about that mortgage. But go ahead as we had planned. Fuzzy. How'd the slaves make all their money? No, they started buying mortgages on outfits that were being rustled poor. Then they foreclosed on them, and as soon as they did, those outfits started making money. Mm. The answer isn't very hard to guess. Well, other people have had that idea, but no one's ever been able to prove anything on them. Maybe no one's ever worked hard enough at the job. I think I'll have a whirl of it. Slade outfit sees us snooping around. We're going to be. Uh oh. Behind. There's some of them right now. Yeah, looks like they've been swapping lead with somebody. Let's trail them. See what we can find out. What happened? Comanche stopped when he'd hit bad, I'll go get the doctor. You'll do nothing of the kind. We'll do all we can for him right here. But we're not expanding any gunshot wounds at a time like this. Vic, get some hot water. You stay with the horses. I'm going to sneak up to the house. Ah, don't be crazy. You'll get your head shot off. Now I'll borrow yours. Yeah, uh... The boys took the herd up in Box Canyon and threw them in with the other bunch. 
You'll have a nice bunch of cattle to bring back when we foreclose on the corner outfit and own that brand. Suppose Ainsley keeps on being bullheaded and won't sell us that mortgage. Ainsley will break his neck to be agreeable before I finish with him. Well, the hombre that shot Comanche won't shoot anybody else. like we lost him. Yeah, I told you that was a hair trigger outfit. They shoot first, then ask you what you want. Did you learn anything? Yeah, John Ainsley's headed for a run-in with the Slade brothers. Mm, you can say that about most anybody in sundown. This is something special. Ainsley owns a mortgage they want. Yep. Looks like they gave us the slip. Now listen, Vic. Get rid of Billy the Kid. I don't care how you do it, but do it fast. He's on his way out right now. What's the matter, Dad? You look worried. I am. Jim Carter just lost another herd, and every one of his crew was killed. This country is overrun with rustlers, gunfighters, and riffraff of every kind. They've got to be cleaned out. You John Ainsley? I am. What can I do for you? Me? Nothing at all. But I might be of some help to you. You're in for a lot of serious trouble with Mort Slade and his outfit. You've got a mortgage he wants. Dad, this man is Billy the Kid. You're the kind we don't want around here. You'll save yourself trouble by getting out of town. Miss Ainsley, I've gone out of my way to bring you a friendly warning. You can take it or leave it. It's not my funeral.
You act as though you thought this town wasn't big enough for the two of us. You can't stand your own feet. It is overcrowded. You're trying to build up a reputation for being tough, aren't you? Think so? Yeah. And I'm calling for a showdown. Now, you be out of town within an hour, or the next time you see me, start reaching. Tell your boss I'd rather do business with him in person. Well, I'm warning you. Get out of town. That's all the talking I'm going to do. All right, if that's the way you want it. Some folks learn sense the hard way, don't they? You know, I ain't looking for trouble. But I ain't gonna be shoved around by nobody. Mind if I come in? Come on in and sit a while. Oh! I think... Have you known Billy the Kid long? You know him ever since he was a pup. Is he what they say he is? Killer? <laughs> He's as gentle as a lamb. And I let him alone. Wouldn't harm a fly. Unless it bit him. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Sorry, I didn't know you had company. Now, come on in. Now, just tell her what a peaceable man you are. I hate to make you out a liar, Fuzzy. What do you mean? Vic Landro just asked for a gunfight. I'm afraid I'm going to have to oblige. Well, uh, shooting it out with him won't be no Sunday school picnic, even if they give you a fair break. Which I don't think they will. Are you going to have a gunfight with Vic Landro? That's the way it looks right now. You certainly had me fooled. I thought you might want the respect of law-abiding people. Why do you blame me for all this trouble? It doesn't make any difference who's to blame. You've no right to take the law into your own hands. Anyone who sets out deliberately to kill a man is a murderer. And it's time the law made an example of someone. Ain't women peculiar? Yeah. Hi, Vic. Hey, I hear you had trouble with Billy the Kid. Yeah, he was trying to show how tough he was, but telling me to get out of town. Well, don't you think you ought to get started? Well, now, don't hold your breath till you see me leaving. <laughs> All right, guys, let's have a drink. Oh, sit down, Fuzzy. You're as fidgety as an old cat. Hey, who's fidgety? I'm as calm as a cucumber. Look at that. <laughs> Don't go it, Billy. This land rule is mighty fast on the trigger. And he's laid away some top-notch fighting men. I had an idea he knew something about a gun. Mort Slade had never hired a gunfighter just because he had blue eyes and curly hair. Oh, why don't you sit down? Got nearly an hour to kill. Uh -huh. ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> I won't sit on those anymore, I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm glad I found you. Come back to town with me right away. Oh, no. No, ma'am, I can't do that. I got important business. Is it more important than stopping a murder? Who's murdering who? Does that make any difference? Or is there some reason why you don't want to go back to town? Oh, well, of course not. Well, come on, then. <laughs> you can't afford to walk off all that weight, Fuzzy. Stay here, Tom. When Billy the Kid goes for it, let him have it. Can't you travel any faster? Well, I'm doing the best I can. My horse is tired. Oh, 
don't worry. Tom will get him before he has a chance to pull a trigger. Take it easy, Shorty. Keep your hand away from that gun if you want to use it to eat with. Now get. on your toes, why don't you do something about it yourself? If you came here looking for trouble, we'll try to see that you're not... We're sick and tired of having you gunfighters act as if you owned this town. It's time you learn to respect the law. All right, Sheriff. You better do your duty. I'm arresting you for this killer. Hey, Seth, why is it a crime to fight in self-defense? The court will decide whether it was self-defense or not. Huh? What are you packing that rifle for? I've a good mind to arrest you as an accomplice. Yeah, don't flatter yourself. If you had a good mind, you wouldn't act the way you do. Let it go, Fuzzy. Proud and the sheriff won't do any good. Maybe so, but it gives me a heap of satisfaction. I'll thank you for your gun. Don't know. You stay here. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Ainsley. Good morning, Mr. Ainsley. Morning. I've got some money here I want to deposit. It's more than I care to pack around with me. All right. How much are you depositing? Oh, 10,000, some odd hundred. Have you changed your mind about selling me that Carter mortgage? You might as well forget about that. It's not for sale. You may feel different someday. best to wait for the law to turn me loose. You can't wait. That law and order crowd are just hankering it. And for once, that slate outfit's on the law's side. You ain't got a chance. Now, I'll have you out of here in just a jiffy. Or I'll be in there with you. Easy.
matter with him? No, I think he's got asthma. I'd like to sleep with his head out the window. Hurry it up, you boys. Can't stay here all night. Take a peek outside. Looks like the coast is clear. You act like you ain't quite bright. Did anybody ever drop you on your head when you was a baby? <laughs> no, not that I can remember. Say, did you recognize any of that gang? No, nah, it's too dark. They move too fast. Tell you the kid busted out of jail. We know that. He helped rob the bank. Well, he won't get far if I have anything to do with it. trouble? If he can stampede folks into starting a run on the bank, I don't know of anything that can save us. Mate hey, Fuzzy, hmm? this stuff is pretty dry. Why don't you go over to the restaurant and get a pot of coffee, huh? Chance of making anybody suspicious. But I suppose you keep on complaining if I don't. And, uh, Fuzzy, stick a steak in your pocket, will you? Uh, how you want with mushrooms or fries, man? <laughs>
I wonder what happened if I would call to the people on the street and tell them that Billy the Kid was hiding in here. If they found him here, they wouldn't be very gentle with you. That bank robbery last night aroused a lot of public indignation. If there's anyone in the crowd that you're fond of, tell them not to be the first one through that door. Just a minute. I suppose it doesn't do any good telling you that I had nothing to do with that robbery. We agree on that point. I have an idea where that money is, though. And you won't get any help from the sheriff. I'll make a deal with you. What kind of a deal? Leave Fuzzy out of this, and then give me till tomorrow morning. I'll come back then whether I have the money or not. Then you can do as you want. Hey, don't make any foolish deals on my account. I'm hoping to kill two birds with one stone, Fuzzy. Well, what do you say? All right. I'll trust you, but I'll expect to see you in the morning. You will. You're sure ambitious. How are you going to have that money by tomorrow morning? Well, we won't find it sitting around here. Now go saddle my horse. Are you local? Why, they'd have you full of holes the minute you stuck your nose out that door. Maybe not. Now go on, bud. Saddle my horse. All right. My God, if I live through this, I'll die a surprise. It means nothing to me one way or the other. I'm just trying to give you some friendly advice. If you want to save what money you've got in the bank, you better throw it out the first thing in the morning. We all know that Eves, we, why he's carrying a lot of mortgages, it'll never pay off. I mean, he can't raise enough cash to grease a skillet. The bank is bound to fold up. I think you're right, Mark. in town. He's getting away. Can't stop and visit with the sheriff. There's the man we want. Looks like we're going to the Slade Ranch for the way of Omaha. We'd never lose them bloodhounds. Yeah. Hey, I'm tired. Why don't we bed down here for the night? We've got time. A long way from the Slade Ranch.
Dad should be back by now. I hope he was able to raise enough money. I would be. Well, not a one of you people can afford to lose that money. Oh, I would not. I would not. I would not. Here he is now. start shooting on that hill over there. They might ride out to investigate. I don't care for anything fancy in the way of a funeral, so here goes. Well, we've got this whole country buffaloed. Nobody wants to tangle with this outfit. Seem like them shots come from this direction. Well, I'm going back to the house. You fellas keep looking for that gun toting jackrabbit. What you're looking for? Yeah. Get your hands up. You don't think I'll fall for that, do you? Pick that money up and bring it over here.
Oh, never mind that. Did you find the money? Yeah. yeah. Well, come on, let's get out of here. This ain't a healthy place to hang around. Maybe you're right. Come on, Tom, you're going bye-bye with us. you want so you won't fall off and hurt yourself. Hit all. Here comes trouble. best to keep law and order in this community. Chair there, Sheriff. That one keeps throwing you. I'm arresting you, Billy the Kid. Now take it easy, take it easy. I got a new prisoner for you. Fuzzy, bring him on in. Yeah, and you got the right one this time. Better lock him up, Sheriff. Then you can read his confession. All right. Step this way. <laughs> they was 
part of my bad reputation. Yeah, if a lawman asked for your help instead of trying to run you ragged, they'd show some horse sense. Anyway, they'd save themselves a lot of hard bumps. <laughs> 